This question said, element P has an electronic configuration 286. Element P, electronic configuration 286. Element R, okay, let's say R here. Electronic configuration 2881. Now we say what is likely to form if P and R combine. A covariant compound PRO, B ionic compound PRO2, C ionic compound PRO, and D ionic compound P2R. Now let's check P2 um, P286. Um, now here is, is actually testing our understanding of electronic configuration and bonding. Two question and one. Testing our understanding of electronic configuration and bonding. Now, we combine, it's obvious to say that this is an element with 10, 16, 16. And obviously, the element uh, in number 16 should be um, oxygen, which is a uh, has a valency of minus 2. Now, this is um, um, 10, um, 19. An element with 19 should be potassium, which has a valency of plus 1. Now, note this. This is a metal. This is a non-metal with a valency of 1, a valency of 2. Now, we have been able to know the electronic configuration of these two elements and we say this should likely be oxygen and this should be likely be um, potassium. Now let's go to chemical bonding. Now in chemical bonding we have ionic bonding, we have covalent bonding, dative hydrogen. But the question here only has to do with um, ionic and, and um, covalent from our options that we have here. Now, we see ionic bonding or electrophoric bonding is a, is a bonding which requires um, transfer of electron from one element to the another. And obviously most from a metal to a non-metal. Why covalent bonding requires sharing of pairs of electrons now? This is a metal having plus one to give out. This is a non-metal having minus two. Definitely. This metal is going to give out this electron trying to um, obtain a stable ionization to this one so that this one will also try to obtain a stable ionization as well. So definitely we are going to have an ionic bond, an electrovalent bond, ionic. Now, they are still testing another thing, our ability of understanding um, of chemical reaction. So if we have potassium reacting with oxygen, what compound are we going to get? We are going to get something like this, um, K2O. Why? So we are going to get something of this nature because the reason is because this hydrogen, um, oxygen has a valency of minus 2 by the size of valency of plus 1. So in chemical reaction, this um, oxygen will be giving this two to potassium, while potassium will be giving this one to oxygen. Definitely, which means this two will come here, this one will come here in a normal chemical reaction now. Let's look at our options. We have option A, covariant bond PR out of the equation. B, ionic bond PR2. Just like so. Now remember, P is representing the non-metal, R is representing the metal. So it's going to be P R two. Actually, it's supposed to be R two P because metals come first. But P R two R two P, we are saying the same thing. So the correct answer is option B. Option B is the correct answer. And let's go to the next question.